Hello everyone. Today we will look at GuitarX. It is a GN Linux virtual guitar amplifier. So this basically is the point is that you can use this. You can directly you can plug your uh, guitar into the computer and then you can get all sorts of different beautiful effects and you can play along and practice or record and all those stuff and um, i had a few difficulties when i started using it and um, so i just want to share how i went about sharing it so now we are starting guitarix and it will show start jack so if you press that it works with the jack basically so this is the window that we get here and we have the jack uh, jack interface as well there so now if you go to setup, uh, if you see the parameters, those are the parameters that I used. And in the advanced menu, you can see output and input. And which basically what you can see is that I set both of them to uh, Scarlet, the focus right interface that I'm using. Both of them are set to Scarlet. And now, so if you go to uh, options, so one of the difficulties that I was having is that when I actually uh, start GuitarX and if I use YouTube and I want to watch a YouTube video and maybe practice together or look at what is the effect, you know, I wasn't able to do it because the video will stop or so the Pulse Audio wasn't able to work with the jack. That was a problem. And this basically I, uh, I solved it um, by... Uh, so there is, I went to ask Ubuntu uh, if you can see this is the the title the jack and pulse audio how to get it work together the first thing I did was to install the pulse audio module jack with using apt it's already available and then I scrolled down there's another solution uh, so this is the one works so this the first the, the two commands using the option startup and the shutdown the second and the and the third one so those two second and third i set up so one will work after uh, start the command after startup and one after the shutdown basically it works with the pulse audio and uh, and uh, sets its uh, work properly and uh, this is the first command uh, that we i typed and uh, so which will help Jack uh, to work with uh, Pulse Audio and then after you shut down uh, it will go back to the normal inter normal whatever we have been using. This is a summary of the commands used. First is the installation. This is, this is after the startup uh, commands and, and that is after the shutdown place that's what you have to put. And then you need to check the sync so you can use path PSEMD. Um, so now, so this is uh, how I was able to work with it. So now another issue uh, that I had was that to to find a good sound, you know, to, to to good effects. I set up something and I use. I also use there are lots of um, lots of effects and you know from available and which actually pulls from internet i believe but i didn't was very satisfied finally i found in the preset the last the bottom the harry vh there's something called solo lead and i really really love that sound and it 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 works like a charm and it is basically the the the, the factory preset so now the last issue that I had uh, was that um, uh, I had difficulty was this latency issue it means when I play and then when I hear through the box or or the headset there was a slightly difference in the, in the it will come after one beat I play and the feedback was coming after a beat so it just completely throw me off and and so that so I was able to overcome by just by this. So on the left side is my input from the guitar and and the right side, the, the, the green one is the output, which is directly, which goes to uh, the speaker system. 
and I am using Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. You couldn't use any other interface and the output comes to the speaker and I can play really really very well and I really enjoy it and love it. I believe this is very I believe it was uh, so this is the whole three points and uh, I believe this is useful and thank you very much for watching.